Hello, I'm Steve from Windy Joinery. We have some requests recently to show the manufacturing process of our Wentworth design gate. For more information on this gate, you can visit www.windyjoinerylimited.co.uk. I hope you enjoy this video. As mentioned in previous videos, we source and use only the highest quality joinery grade redwood to manufacture our gates from. We make our own PSE, which stands for Plain Square Edge Timber. This is to avoid any issues with warping and twisting at a later date. I need a 12 inch wide piece of timber to create the curved head of this gate. So here I am jointing two pieces together using polyurethane adhesive. Once the glue dries, the bond is actually stronger than the timber itself. This is the template that we use to mark out the curved head of the gate. Now I am cutting the tenons into the rails. Now I am marking out the jams. Here I am marking out the Mordison tenon onto the head. On this particular gate I have to use a stubbed Mordison tenon. This is because if I use a through Mordison tenon it would become exposed when cutting the curve onto the head of the gate. Now I am mortising out the jams. Now I'm using the spindle moulder to put a rebate into the jams. Now I am bare facing the rails. Here I am using the bandsaw to cut the stubbed tenon which I marked out earlier. Here I'm cutting the slots into the tenons for the wedges to go into. Here I am assembling the gate ready for cramping up. As mentioned in previous videos, we use only the highest grade of waterproof wood adhesive.
Now I am cutting the wedges for the tenons. Now I am marking out in preparation to cut the curved head of the gate. On our Wentworth gates we cut the boarding to follow the curved rebate of the head. As with all our gates, we brace them so they can be hinged from either side. And now for the finishing touches. 